Hey guys, Flutter Sims here and welcome back to my channel. So today, as you can see, we are back with some more Sims 3 Generations. In the last part, um, it was pretty uneventful, to be honest. Uh, we had Matthew go out and make a couple friends and, um, <clears throat> excuse me, and we just, you know, did our daycare career thing. Phoebe leveled up to, um, oh my god, level two in her profession, so, yeah. Um, there's a couple new things with my game that I want to talk about before we get started. I have figured out how to finally install mods into my game, um, so I'm really proud of myself. Um, someone suggested in my comments below getting the story progression, so I've installed story progression and I've installed master controller, and um, so I'm really excited because it made my game run really, really well. I've also installed, I think it's called Frozen Lighting. So basically my world's just going to look a lot prettier. And I've changed Matthew and Phoebe's skin. I was using a skin that I downloaded off of the Sims resource. But I downloaded, this one is, I believe it's called Blueberry Waffles by Burnt Waffles. Apparently it's the one that Life Simmer used in her Let's Play. And I just think it looks really, really good. So, yeah. Without further ado, let's get on to the gameplay. Okay, so it is leisure day today, as we can see here. So Matthew is just cooking up some pancakes for breakfast. Looking really, really good. Um, Phoebe is just using the bathroom. She is in her um, daycare uniform, but uh, she's not going to have work today. Yeah, so she doesn't have work for four days. Um, so, I want her to change into her everyday wear. Um, yeah, so with the story progression, I keep getting these little pop-ups in the corner. I'm not sure if I can get rid of those or not, but um, if, you'll, if you know, let me know in the comments below. So, we're going to have uh, Phoebe and Matthew just kind of have a chill morning at home. But tonight, I want to throw Matthew's bachelor party because I want to get moving with generations. I want to have their wedding, and then I want them to have their babies, and then we can just, you know, do everything and uh, everything in between. Or everything that comes after that, I guess. I don't know. Yeah, I'm really, really, really loving this skin, though. I will link all the mods and stuff in my description. Um, but yeah, with the, the frozen lighting, it basically just makes the town look a lot brighter. The water is a lot more blue. It's a lot brighter as well. Um, I was, I came on to check how, like, see, look how nice that looks. That looks so good. Ah, oh, I love it. Okay. I've never modded my game before. I never knew how to do it, but now I, now I, I figured it out. So I'm feeling really good about myself. <laughs> Um, oh. Boom, boom, boom. And he burnt the frickin' meal. Awesome. So, I think instead I'm gonna have them go out for breakfast. So, Phoebe, do not eat those. Matthew's gonna come and ask Phoebe out on a little date. <clears throat> We're gonna go out for breakfast. Have a little leisure day. Leisure day meal. Mm -hmm. I think we're just going to go to the, uh, oh my god, what is it called? Diner. Yep, deep fried diner. We're going to eat here with we'll date, get some brekkie, and then, oh, he really has to pee. Whoops. Okay, wait, I lied. Before we go, I'm going to have him pee so he does not pee his pants. And then, oh, Phoebe's going to try to eat. Phoebe. Uh oh. I think my game might be crashing. Oh, nope, there we go. All right. That happened to me before. <clears throat> um, when I was testing out the lighting, the lighting mod. Um, okay. Oh, this Nick is a criminal. Oh, 
Oh, this is so cool. Okay, I've never, like I said, Phoebe, God, literally cannot stop for five minutes. <clears throat> um, what was I saying? Oh, so I've tested, I was trying to test out the lighting mod and, um, it crashed my game twice. I think it was that, but I think it also could be that, um, there's just a lot at once. I think I I ugh, I downloaded a bunch of uh, the mods uh, one after another, so I think it just might be a lot for my computer to handle. I am getting a new PC and monitor this week, this coming week. So today is July 4th when I'm recording this. Um, so by Friday, I think that's the 8th. Um, I will have my new setup, and hopefully the game will run a lot smoother. Um, I'm really excited for it, because it'll be, like, my own PC. I've never had my own PC. It's always been, like, a family. Um, like, I shared it with my family, so... Yeah. If you guys know how to stop these little blurbs from popping up for the story progression, please let me know, because I have no idea how to uh, make it not pop up <laughs> and it's really annoying hey matthew heard hey matthew heard, oh my lord hey matthew i heard you know your way around a diving board i'll be throwing a pool party and i was hoping you can come this is nancy land grab is this nancy land grab yeah it is again um we actually won't be there because we'll be at our bachelor party so once he gets out of there, I want him to throw throw a party. Um, I think we're probably going to do it for like probably 7. 7 o'clock? I think that sounds sounds good, I think. Is that Mortimer? Mortimer Goth. Mortimer Goth. Oh, where'd he go? There he is. I've heard a lot about you, my friend. A lot about you. Oh, there's Gunther. Yep. I love me some Sims lore. Yeah, because that's a lot. That is a lot of pop-ups. Um, oh, woo. I love the way my town looks. It just looks so so much brighter. I'm so sorry if you were getting annoyed with me at, like, me installing mods. I'm just, I'm just really excited. <laughs> I'm really excited, okay? Um, all right. So he's going to be, all right, um, I put the grind over here, which is the dance club. It's from late night. Cost to rent is 400. Sounds good. I don't know if we can do, yeah, so we'll just do that. Um, we're going to invite Nick Alto. He's a teen. Connor and Jared Frio. Um... Christopher Steele. We're going to bite Layton. Joffrey. Is that Joffrey or Jeffrey? I think it's Joffrey. Joffrey land grab. And I guess, well, we don't really know. We don't really, okay, yeah, that'll be good. Um, We're going to start it at 7. It's a bachelor party. Dress to impress. All right, I think we're set. I think we're set. The bachelor party will start at seven. Oh my god, not Nick Alto hitting on our wife on our soon to be wife. Uh so you're like our best friend we have at the moment. Please please don't be doing that. Um mm -mm. Matthew Aldridge wants Matthew Aldridge wants to have a last a, oh my god, a last wild night of freedom before his wedding and is throwing a bachelor party. This one this is one night he might not want to add to his scrapbook. Good lord. All right. I'm going to have them head over to the summer festival. Um, and I'm going to hopefully have Phoebe make some friends. Um, they're not going to be on a date all day because I think when, when uh, Matthew's at his bachelor party, I want Phoebe to like make some, like be out making friends. Oh. Love has blossomed between Cyclone Sword and Monica Morris. Is wedding bells in their future? 
I like that I can know everything about like the Sims in town, but it's so annoying like having the little pop-ups all the time. Um, okay, we're gonna take okay. Stop. Take a greeting card photo with Phoebe. Cute. Oh, look at the water. Look how cute. Oh, everything just looks so freaking good. All right. All right, all right. Gonna take a greeting card photo, and then I think I'm gonna have them skate for a little bit. Who are you? Victoria Andrews. Look at the fountain. Like, look how nice the fountain is. Awesome. Um, and then I'm gonna have him skate, and then I'm gonna have her skate. Oh, perfect. That's a greeting card. You can share your photo with community friends online. No, I'm good. All right. Come over here and skate for a bit, and then I'm gonna have Matthew go home. Oh, Nick and his wife are fighting. All right, I wanna see. Perfect. Um, options, I just wanna see if I can fix, I don't even know where to go to fix, fix that. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah, I have no idea. So if you know how to get rid of the pop-ups, let me know. Also, if it sounds like I have a little bit of a lisp or something, it's because I have my retainer in. It's like 10.30 at night. I am just really wanted to play. Um, so, yeah. I was, like, getting ready for bed, and I'm like, oh, I'm going to test to see if the lighting, like, crashes my world again. And it didn't, so I was like, you know what? I want to play. I want to play Sims, so. Yeah. Okay, they're going to stop. Matthew is going to go home. We're going to end the date. She had a lovely time. Perfect. Perfect. Okay. Oh, she wants to kiss Matthew. Attend a party. And enter. Okay, girl, you're not even hungry enough to enter our hot dog eating contest. I want to see um, if, let's see if that Corey, what was her name? Corey Nolan? Yeah, we're going to see if she would like to come to this summer festival with us. Maybe we'll get to know her a little bit more. She was really cute. And what is this? <gasps> a cat. That is a really weird looking cat. Oh. Choose a destination. Well, hold up. I think it glitched because I was in... Or no, 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 no. I'm a mess right now. Um, here we go. All right. I think it had a little bit of a glitch because <laughs> I was not in the usual game form. So we're going to see if Corey wants to come out with us. Oh. Well, screw you. I don't care. Fine. Fine, fine, fine. I don't even know if anybody's... Oh, they're all doing the hot dog eating contest. Oh, there's Connor. Connor Frio. Oh, uh, she's going to give a friendly uh, introduction to Victoria when she's done. Um, her hot dog eating contest. <laughs> and I'm going to have Matthew come upstairs. He's going to shower. And then I want him to take a little nap before his party. Because I want him to party it up all night. Because, you know, it's his, it's his bachelor party. Like asks him to make a toast probably nick alto tbh all right so he's gonna do that and then we're gonna focus on phoebe oh she's talking to victoria victoria andrews right yeah um friendly ask about her career uh ask about her alma mater we're gonna coo over children as well Uh, we will do make a silly face and we'll tell her a funny story. Um, and ask if she's single. 
ask what her sign is. And hmm. We'll talk about gardening. Who is t who's dying? All right, who's going to win? Connor, are you tapping out? And then who's this? Bo? Bo Andrews? Oh, he's got to go to the bathroom. Those hot dogs went right through him. She's so skinny. Oh, my God. Like, tiny. Tiny, tiny, tiny. Um, oh, wait. I just want to show you what Phoebe looks like with this new skin. Because she looks absolutely beautiful. Oh, my God. Hold on, wait. <gasps> Literally stunning literally i'm speechless i'm literally speechless she is so gorgeous i can't get over how pretty she is she is literally probably one of the prettiest sims i've ever made in my entire like sims life she's so gorgeous gorgeous awesome okay so we're getting to know Miss Victoria. She would look really cute with a little makeover, though. Because she's not a bad-looking... She's not a bad-looking sim, but a different hairstyle, I think, would suit her so much better. Oh my god. I'm, like, losing control. <laughs> Alright. Let's see who else is at the Summer Festival. Oh, oh, we just learned two things about her. She's So her and Bo are engaged? Or is that married? I think they're engaged. Yeah, they're definitely engaged. <laughs> um, she's a Virgo. Cool, okay. Who else is at? Who are you? Hello? Molly French. Oh, this is Sandy French's mom. This is her mom. Okay. I want them to become friends before I have her talk to someone else. Tell a joke. Um, talk about family. Gossip. Friendly and in enthused about journalism, I guess. And then I'm going to have her come over and give Molly... I think her name's Molly. Yeah, Molly, a good old friendly introduction. Because we want to make as many lady friends as we can. So then we actually have people to invite to our parties and stuff. Oh my god, Matthew. I almost totally forgot about his bachelor party. Dude, Miss is sleeping in his formal wear. Awesome sauce. Get up and get moving, boy. Jeepers. First guess has a run. Okay. Get moving. Late to his own bachelor party. Sounds about right. Sounds about right. You know what? It's his bachelor party. Who cares? He can do what he wants. He can do what he wants. He can do what he wants. Um... Okay, yeah, she's done talking to us, so we're going to go talk to Molly. Go talk to Molly. If she's still here, yes, she is. Let's go check on Matthew. He's almost there, I think. Almost. Yep, here we are. Here we are, ladies and gents. We're here at the grind. All right. This is probably my one of my favorite bars. If one of if not my favorite bar um from late night. So, we're going to order a drink. We're going to order uh Alien Brain. Who do we got? So, I think this is Christopher Steele. We got Joffrey um, I saw a couple more people outside. Okay, there's Nick Alto looking all fabulous in his... It looks like he's wearing, like, a velvet. It almost... I know it's not velvet, but just the color makes it look like a velvet suit. <laughs> and then we got... This is Jared Frio. Connor's here. Awesome, awesome. 
everybody, everybody's here. Oh my god! Look at Matthew. Oh my god, he's looking scary. Oh! Oh my god, he looks so adorable. He looks so cute. I've never, I've only ever done bachelorette parties. I've never seen the bachelor party, so I've never seen this outfit. Let me tell you, this outfit is way better than the uh, bachelorette outfit. The bachelorette one is ugly. I hate it with a passion. <clears throat> okay, come on. Order drink. Um, the alien brain is what we we're gonna get. Christopher Steele. I have like just just a soft spot for him for some reason because I used to play with him a lot in my when I was like younger playing with Sims. Like he's just a good looking dude. Like I don't know what you want me to say. He's a good looking dude. Okay, we're gonna order our drink. Okay, no one cares. Sam, oh my god, wait, Sam just aged up. Hold on, I lied, I do care. So he's gonna be in, yeah, he's in elementary school now. That's gonna be so weird, we're not gonna be able to babysit him. Okay, Phoebe is tired, so she's gonna go home. How's everybody else doing? How is everybody else doing? Everybody is dancing and it looks like they're having a good time, so that's good. Um, I think once we get our drink, we'll get our we'll get our dance on. We'll start dancing with some people. Oh no, the party dancers are here, guys. The party dancers are here. Justine time. I think that's what she is. A ten hut. Somebody here called the party dancer, and I'm launching a full scale dance invasion. Awesome. So, yeah, if you don't know, this comes with Generations as well. It comes with The Bachelor and Bachelorette parties. They just come and dance. It's basically like a stripper, but <laughs> except she doesn't strip. She just dances. So, not really, I guess. Oh, this drink gave us something. Cerebral boost. Intellectual aspirations are in reach when you're all hopped up on juice, on brain juice. Awesome. See, everyone's coming to watch the dance right now. We're going to dance with... Let's dance with Connor. Let's go dance with Connor. Aww. Cute. Cute. He's making friends. <laughs> yeah. Get into it. And then I think we're going to ask Nick Alto. We're going to ask him to make a toast. Because he is the closest friend that we have at this party. He's our friend. We're actually best friends with our boss. Which is actually, or good friends with our boss. I don't know. Which is good. Who are you? Hey, paparazzi. Awesome. Awesome. Oh my god, I'm so sorry, but look at Christopher. Look at him. He's just a good-looking dude. He, you know what? He does kind of, if you guys have seen Gilmore Girls, he totally reminds me of, like, Rory's dad, Christopher Hayden. So, like, I don't know. Oh, Connor, Connor doesn't like being around people. All right, Nick's gonna make the toast for us. Okay, we're waiting. <laughs> oh, he is doing it. Here we go. And they're all cheering him on. I don't know if they're cheering him on or what, but party dancer time is over. But she's gonna hang around for a minute or two. Oh, yep, and he just got sprayed. Awesome. <laughs> Great. You know what? We're going to spray him back. And he wants to talk to Connor, so we can talk to Connor after as well. So, we'll greet him. <laughs> oh, 
I will say, I do like the bachelor and bachelorette parties, but there are a lot to deal with at once. <laughs> There's just a lot going on. So, uh, yeah. Good. Well, I think I'm going to have him. Let's have him come dance with Leighton. Um, dance together. And then we're going to go check on Phoebe. What is this? Listen to Toast. Miss Girl, you aren't even there. And she's just asleep. Phoebe is tired. Um, when she wakes up, though, I'm gonna have her go to the bathroom and eat. And everything's spoiled in the fridge, so we're gonna have a quick meal of some cereal when she decides to wakey wakey. Matthew is still partying it up. Him and Light in her dance, and I believe you just can't see him because he's invisible. There he is. Yep, everyone's just dancing, having a time. But I think I'm going to have him go home because he's getting really tired and he's hungry. And, uh, yeah, he's just tired and he's hungry and he has to go to the bathroom. And um, it's about time to end the part soon. So, yeah. Well, now that we got that out of the way, um, let me just see. He's gonna, when he comes home, we'll have him use the bathroom and eat, uh, ooh, some soup. Some soup, and, uh, and I'm gonna have him head to bed because he is literally exhausted. Um, this, <laughs> covered in nectar, by golly, this can be any more fun, but protect the eyes, this stuff stings. So, that's from him being sprayed with the fizzy nectar. Matthew's party was a modest success, the guests feel good about att having attended. <clears throat> oh my god, so many pop-ups. Alright, and I think, does he... He does have work in the morning. Honestly, I might have him take the day off because, you know, it's his bachelor party. If he was just, you know, he's going to be tired and he's probably going to get married um, in a few few days anyways. Um, So yeah, I'm just going to have Matthew like eat and get ready for bed it is almost two in the morning so in the next episode i think i'm gonna work on phoebe's relationships off camera we have a few who's this susan wainwright okay so we know a few ladies so i think i'm gonna have her work on those relationships oh, jeepers jeepers I'm going to have her work on these relationships off camera, as I was saying. Um, so then in the next part, we can throw Phoebe's bachelorette party and uh, just get that done and over with. So, yeah, this is exactly how the last part ended. Just Matthew sitting here eating food, except there was not this amount of flies sitting here. That's disgusting, but I'll have them clean that up in the morning. Um, but, yeah... If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a thumbs up. Comment down below what else you want to see me do. And comment down below if you know how to get rid of those stupid story progression pop-ups. Because I don't know how to do it. And uh, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.